you know, I think as a company, philosophically, we've tried to differentiate ourselves from companies in direct selling and companies in the business of nutrition by having a narrow, powerful product line. And I think that philosophy has served us extremely well. You know, for most of the 27 years that Juice Plus has been and is still our flagship, Juice Plus capsules, I mean, our flagship product, they've represented on average between 80 and 85% of what we sell. I can tell you, Carrie, I go to like the business of nutrition conferences where people of all different kinds in that space are there, uh, 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 C-level executives, and they know about us and they know what we've pulled off with this narrow product line. And, and I sit there at lunch and someone says we have 1600 products. And to us, that is like a nightmare. And to us, the product line we have is, is, a, is a, you know, it, it makes it so much more powerful, so much simpler. And so we've always preferred to take the same products and sell them to more people rather than have more products and sell them to the same. That's always been how we've thought. But to do that, you know, most companies don't do it this way because they would see that as risky. And so we have undertaken over years this mindset of product renovation. What can we do to make the same products better, right? And how can we continue to prove it? And so probably our next biggest point of differentiation is the clinical research that we've conducted on our products to really set ourselves apart from the field. When you have 1600 products, pretty hard to uh, embark on a clinical research trial, you know, for all of those, where are you gonna start? How long is it gonna take kind of thing? We're up to 41 that are published. And I can tell you two of them, um, three recently published, two of those that are recently published, but haven't really made their way to mainstream yet in terms of us uh, presenting them you know, through formal marketing material. You've heard Dr. Manfred Lamprecht uh, talk to it on stage if you've come to big conferences, uh, are, are really earth shattering. Uh, Omega blend, for example. We've conducted a trial on our new Omega blend product, pr the best product we've introduced ever in terms of how it's made its way into a prominence amidst our powerful product line. And the study looked at in particular this omega-3 index. So that's essentially a, a level of omega-3 in your blood that's associated with entering into a kind of an optimized zone for health as it concerns omega-3. And that's a known number, a known index, they call it. There's also a known dose that's usually required to get there and a known period of time that's usually required to get there. We achieved that index with half the dose and half the time. And so when we saw those numbers, Manfred was like, oh my God, uh, it's gonna be hard for the community of Omega, the Omega world to really believe this. And so the first thing we did was we, we sent our results, our, our, our product test results to five different labs to make sure we were actually identifying how much was in there for Omega 3, 5, 6, 7, 9. And it validated what we thought. We, it, there was exactly what was in, we thought was in there. It wasn't us making a mistake that, oh my God, we understated. It was what we thought. But what it screamed to all of us was synergy. It has to be synergy to achieve half the dose and half the time. And when we go public with this, with the right support, it's really gonna, um, really gonna send a message to the world of, of Omega that we've figured something else that's extremely powerful. The other one, Carrie, is gonna be even harder to talk about, and you've heard us talk about it over years because it took a while. I remember my first product VP conference presentation in Phoenix of 2015, I wanna say, um, talking about this one. It was conducted at the University of Colorado and the University of Padua, Italy. And it's the fourth or fifth study where they didn't actually do new work, they looked retrospectively on a body of work that we had already done. In this case, they looked at seven different trials that we had published, and they also looked at separate trials that had been published on other, other juices. And basically, they took all the different findings from those seven trials of ours, and they extrapolated that using mathematical algorithms to express that in terms of this is where it gets challenging to choose the words <laughs> because we don't pick the words, right? When things get published, we didn't write it. We, did, we were part of designing a study to make sure it actually um, unveils something interesting so it gets published, but we certainly don't choose the words to describe the findings. And so let's just say 
measured a, a, over a 10 year period, US population, they were measuring the number of, let's call them heart health incidents, uh, to the tune of 60 some million that they would have, we would have avoided 60 some million incidents of heart health had theoretically had the US population been on Juice Plus for those years. There was also a correlating healthcare cost reduction that's measured in uh, north of $100 billion. So this is published, it's out there. It was accepted as uh, worthy of publication. We just need to find a way to talk about it because it's also gonna be a shattering 